Someone from Zimbabwe has talked about the ordeal they went through getting to South Africa. He went on to say that he has helped smuggle others of Zimbabwean descent into South Africa. He considered it his duty to help his countrymen get entry to South Africa in search of better economic prospects. Since they didn't have identification, according to Tulani Mujul, they had to be smuggled in. The number of stranded Zimbabweans has dropped dramatically as a result of ramped-up smuggling. A large number of people are already inside the country after crossing the Bight Bridge. An aspiring businessman in Johannesburg's financial area told City Press that he was ready to take risks to make the money he never had by assisting unauthorized immigrants in crossing the border. People with these backgrounds are often stigmatized when they seek economic refuge. He elaborated on the practice of bribing border patrol officers to gain entry to another country. He says he charges about 20. 000 rand to let illegal aliens enter Johannesburg. He was cited as saying, from Zimbabwe to South Africa I charge 2,000 rand every passenger. All government-mandated crossing costs are included in the 2,000 rand price. Keep in mind that online images of several stranded Zimbabweans in Bight Bridge appeared not too long ago. However, a closer look reveals that there are actually very few people still living there. Maybe they're waiting for money from friends and family back home so they can bribe their way through. Many Christmas travelers brought loved ones back with them as gifts. They account for the vast majority of South Africa's unauthorized residents.